Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, you will be learning about Azure Firewall. Azure Firewall is very similar to your on-premises firewall or any of the managed firewall. But here within the Azure, it's a firewall as a service model, which you are getting as an offering from Microsoft Azure Cloud. So there are not just a Microsoft Azure Firewall, there are different third-party firewalls also available like Checkpoint or Sophos Next Generation Firewalls and Palo Alto. All the great uh, firewalls are available. Out of that, Microsoft also introduced something called Azure Firewall, which is also works very similar to other third-party products. Uh, but this is dedicatedly from the Microsoft. So you get the support from Microsoft Azure Firewall. So to begin with that, to understand more about uh, about Azure Firewall, it's a managed, uh, it's a completely managed and cloud-based network security service that provides uh, to your virtual networks as a resource. So it's a fully uh, stateful firewall as a service, which is built on high availability and unrestricted cloud uh, scalability. So within this, uh, it works on L3 and L7 uh, connectivity policies for the user policies. And also it is fully integrated with Microsoft Threat Intelligence uh, for known about uh, malicious IPs and uh, other FQDNs. So, it's a fully integrated uh, this Microsoft Azure Firewall. With this, you can centrally manage and enforce, and you can manage not just the manage. You can also log every every information, every possible information, and you get that network connectivity policies across your subscriptions, and you can filter them, and you can identify what kind of traffic it is originating from your virtual networks or your VNets and it's fully integrated with uh, Microsoft Azure monitoring for uh, log analytics services uh, and this Azure firewall is fully built on high availability so no additional load balancing is uh, definitely not required for you uh, to configure so if you just install and configure this Azure firewall or introduce this service within your resource group that would take everything when it comes for the communication side this as your firewall works uh, based on hub and spoke uh, method like uh, it is a central point as i said earlier from where all the spokes will communicate to the firewall so let's say if these are into different units uh, that communication will go and communicate within the Azure firewall and then uh, the server communication or within that VNets also uh, will be established the communication between with the help of Azure firewall to do this you definitely need to depend on your routing table so there's a Azure uh, routing tables which you are gonna create it and then you would uh, divert the traffic to from the Azure Firewall and this also supports not just the cloud it also supports your on-premises traffic also can be managed let's jump into more to understand about Azure Firewall so Azure Firewall as we discussed it's a firewall as a service model and this is fully managed cloud-based network service as a security feature which is coming from your Microsoft Azure Cloud to protect all your network resources and it's a fully stateful firewall as a service which built on high availability and unrestricted cloud scalability and you can centrally create and force all the logging applications and you can monitor uh, your entire network connectivity across your subscriptions and also from different VNets and as your firewall uh, uses a static public IP that means you can get the exact log information whatever it's going outside and you can block um, a lot of firewalls rules uh, can be applied either application specific or any other things for the outbound and you can get that specific identity for the traffic which is originating within your virtual network and the services is fully integrated with them uh, for the log analytics services so you get the more in detailed information of uh, with the help of the logs when you are subscribed for the log analytics services 
that means you can integrate that and also it's highly available the uh, it's built in so no additional load balances or no additional cost is required to manage these kind of you know services unlike other third party always uh, recommends you to you know go for uh, more than one firewall mechanism this doesn't require and also you can enable with the availability zones and your availability increases up to 99 percentage if at all you use for the availability zones and there is no additional cost for the firewall deployment in availability zone however there are additional cost for inborn and outborn traffic um, which is associated with your availability zones and we didn't talk about the pricing pricing is uh, it's uh, very plain based on hourly pricing so how many hours you use based on that it's going to charge also the data uh, which is tra uh, which is traveling from your firewall also will be uh, measured for the costing purpose if you're looking for the better performance for per region deploy one firewall uh, one uh, one firewall per region basis and also you can centrally create a load any networking rules by source and destination ips or ports or application protocols and also you can have your fqdn tags which makes easy for you to um, known uh, known rules side if you're trying to create any of the network traffic through your firewall and you can apply service tags and it also built in threat intelligence for off medium or block automatically all that kind of configuration can be enabled which we are gonna uh, look at in the demo which is coming in the next uh, lecture and also we do have the outbound uh, snat and inbound dnat support and also if you look at the limitation sets um, there are multiple limitations if you are looking for the more uh, known issues or limitations go to this url but for now as in recording of this may 2020 these are the limitations and who knows you know in future it may change so coming back to the most common or uh, known or useful cases where you have the limitations is network filtering rules for the non uh, tcp ip uav protocol such as icmp kind of thing doesn't work for internet bond uh, traffic and you cannot move your Azure, Azure Firewall to a different resource group or a subscription because it is fully associated uh, with the subscription uh, and your network resources. So once it is tightly integrated, you can't move it definitely. And limited port range is supported like, you know, 65,000 range and post 30 doesn't support. You can check out more uh, from the known issues within this url and also no customs uh, dns is supported that means it only uses microsoft azure uh, dns and there is uh, no support for your other dns support and also no snat and dnet for your private ip destinations that's how it's going to work now in the upcoming lecture we are going to try uh, spinning up two virtual machines and we will create one of the jump server from the jump server to uh, your server location you can you know do your rdp and then access some of the websites then uh, that traffic will be routed back to your firewall and if the rule matches within the firewall it will allow for the internet connection like we create for microsoft site or maybe for the google or different sites and we will try to filter the traffic uh, from the firewall that means we are going to deploy two servers and one firewall in the upcoming lecture let's go back to the azure calculator price calculator and search for the firewall in, and you get it as your firewall let's take that and see the uh, firewall deployment is per deployment you're going to charge per hour basis and also for the data processing per gb it's going to charge for you and let me change currency to usd so that it will be easy for everyone convenient and deployment is per uh, per deployment it's going to charge 1.25 dollars per hour and any of the data it's also will be included by gb.0016 or 016 cents and the secured virtual hubs deployment this is the price if you're trying for any virtual hubs pricing which is in a preview which is not scoped for az 500 or ag 300 exam series and uh, these are the uh, normal pricing and i hope uh, this entire lecture is useful for you to get understand more about the azure uh, firewall overview if you can uh, look at here it's stateful as a consolidated you, you can 
go through this specific link this would definitely help you out to understand better and let's catch you in the next demo lecture on as you find